longest rain delay was at the beginning of the game. Over an hour, and that pitch is hit to deep center field. And Lofton goes back to the track, to the wall, makes a leap, and that ball will fly away. So Mike Cameron deposits one over the center field fence. And Big John Roush is being rocked, and he's asking for Mark Johnson, his catcher, to come out and meet with him. Home run, dead center field. Number six for Mike Cameron. And Cameron hits a fly ball to deep center field, and Lofton goes back to the track, the wall, and that's gone. So the Mariners get two run, two home runs each in the first inning from Boone and from Mike Cameron. And we'll have to really head to the record book to see the last time that has happened one inning. Two members of one team hitting two home runs in an inning, and the Mariners have ten. Wow. When you talk to scouts, that's one of the things that they look for, Dave, and that is, does a guy up there at the plate that they're scouting, does he hit strikes? Has he changed or expanded his strikes? Off? And Cameron belts the ball to left field, and he has three. He becomes only the 11th Mariner in history to hit three home runs in a game, and he has a long, long time to tie a major league record of four home runs in a game. Mike Cameron with three home runs, and the Mariners with an 11 to nothing lead. And that pitch is hit to deep center field. Back goes Lofton to the track, to the wall. Cameron has done it. My, oh my, Mike Cameron becomes only the fifth man in Major League history to hit four home runs in four consecutive at bats and a standing ovation here in Chicago for Mike Cameron of career night. And he's got a lot of time to stand all alone as a man with five home runs in a game. What a night for Mike Cameron. You talk about a night to remember. Mike Cameron is having one. I guarantee he'll remember the rest of his life. This is a night they'll talk about for a long, long time all over baseball. The night that Mike Cameron crushed four home runs in four consecutive at-bats.